three. Now into the sixth match of the day. It's the men's singles. Malaysia's Ung Tae Yong takes on Kanta Suniyama of Japan. So looking at the brackets, all the quarterfinal places up for grabs still. A very interesting match between Li Chia Hao and Li Zhi Zhao. We'll have that one a little bit later on. John Christie takes on the defending champion, Li Chiu Kyu. And uh, right now, the winner of this match, Ung and Kanta Suniyama, they'll play either Magnus Johansson or Wang Tu Wei in the quarterfinals. Here's the first one through. The uh, good news for him, of course, is that he has been a bit of a giant killer this week. Kanta Sunayama is out next. Beat the world number two, Cho Tian Chen, along the way to get here. We'll uh, talk about that in just a short while. But the other big news which we will talk about in more detail in a short while, is that he has passed Li Zijia in the race to Paris. Now, I don't think many people would have expected that a, a while ago. Red. And black. Red. More than that, just a short while. The head-to-head, -head, only one the previous time that they've met. Ng Tse Yong is leading in that one. Just the one match. That was uh, very recently, last month, in fact, at the Australia Open, which... He won actually very comfortably. Uh, quite surprising, of course. Kanto Suniyama is high ranked. Um, and he won the second game 21 8. Only taken the first 21 18. Just 39 minutes required for that. So, Ung Tse Yong is 23 from the south of Malaysia in Johor. He's almost six foot. And he's playing at his highest ever ranking, some of his best ever badminton. He is the currently Commonwealth Games uh, silver medalist from last year. And on the World Tour, still looking for his first win, but he did win. He's won uh, five times at International Challenge Series level. There's that massive win against the 7 seed Cho Tian Chen in just 46 minutes. Uh, that one really was a fantastic result. Cho Tian Chen, unfortunately, perhaps just on a dip at the moment into his uh, almost mid-30s now. Kata Suniyama is 27 years of age, 172 centimetres tall, so he's eight centimetres shorter than his uh, opponent, 14th in the world. He has been a former top 10 player. That was achieved in November of 2019. Asian Championships this year, he was a bronze medalist. He had a good win over India's Priyanshu Rajawat in the first round. He's a former Asia Junior Championship silver medal winner in 2014. On the World Tour, unlike his opponent, he has won three times, but it has been a while ago. Thailand Open in 2018, Career Masters in 2019, and the French Open, which is a Super 750 beating show in the final in 2021. This year, he finished runners-up at the Ready Spain Masters. Victor Wong from Hong Kong, China is our umpire. Uh, Daniel Law from Hong Kong, China is our service judge now. I think this is going to be a... There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kenta Suniyama, Japan. 
and on my left, Ng Ziyong, Malaysia. Ng Ziyong to serve, Le Fo. Ziyong to serve here, as we heard. One love. Giant killer and Tu Yong is uh, no stranger to those kind of big acts. But he says he wants to stay consistent. Server over. One. You're beating Cho Chen Chen, oh. former world number two in straight games is a fantastic result. That brought his head to head to two all. Sarasova. Says Two, it's uh, good for his one. confidence and it assures that he's on the right track as far as uh, training is concerned. He says he has a lot to improve and he wants that consistency, as I said. But he has now beaten the likes of Victor Axelson, Loki and Yu, HS Pranoy, and Jonathan Christie this year alone. And now you add Jotin Chen to that. It is an impressive list of scalps. Sofa. Two, all. However, I remember watching him at the uh, China Open. And, uh, just showed that inconsistency. What? He was a favourite going in against uh, Shosahira and Rustavito two. in the second round of the China Open last week. And he squandered four match points in the deciding game, eventually losing to the world number 45. Rustavito putting on six points in a row to win it, 22-20 in the last game. Very, very good from him, but yeah, that would have been disappointing for Ung. Over. Three and that was four. after he beat HS Pranoy in the opening round. Who was a world champ bronze medalist? Battling back from five points down to go on and win it. He losing a match to someone he wasn't expected to. Yeah, that... There's a consistency he's talking about. And this has all the hallmarks of a tight match, this one. Right, she won by. Four. And there, uh, Lynette. Oof, and then just a little look across from Sunayama as to whether that had encroached or whether that had actually crossed the net when it was played. Just gone a little Five, long. Three. And I opened up a three point lead here over Kante Sunayama. Now, as I said, the other big news is that he's now overtaken Lizzie Jia in the race for Paris. Lee Chong Wei, the Malaysian legend, said it's going to be very tough if the two of them are still chasing ranking points next year. Remember the 
The Olympic qualifying window closes at the end of April next year. Seven, three. Lizzy Jazz dropped two more rungs to number 16 in the world following his first round exit at the China Open. He's playing here in the second round. Wang Tzu Young is playing his best ever ranking of world number 20. There's really not much between them in terms of rankings. That's a really lovely shot in that corner. No chance for Sunayama. Five Eight, points clear and Tzu Young. Now, even though Li Zijia is ranked above Ung Tse Yong, it's a separate ranking list that raced to Paris to determine the qualifiers for the Olympics. It's based on results in that qualification year that started from April to April. Nine, three. It's a one-year period. As it stands now, if you're not in the top 16, only one place is available. So as it stands, Ng Tzu Yong provisionally qualifies for the Games next year as the sole Malaysian competitor. Nicely put away by Sunayama, and that's what Ng Tzu Yong saying there was encroachment. So, so the same thing that Four, he possibly nine. did earlier. We have a look here. Ah, actually, no, was it also touching the net? Beforehand, well, tough to see. Umpire's going to make a split second decision. Still got a nice five point lead here. Not too young. Five, nine. Oh, that's really soft hands. So we're so far. On the jump as well. Ten. He took that brilliantly on Tzu Yong. So yeah, Lee Chong Wei was saying it's so open, it's tough for everyone. He says, but he said the two of the two Malaysians really need to go better, get better results, go for titles. And if they can improve their Eleven rankings five. this year, they can manage their tournaments Interval. better next season. Uh, the schedule is hectic as of now. More on that in a while. We go into the first interval with Ling Tzu Yong in a good position here. He's six points clear. 11-5 against Kante Sunayama in the first game. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven five. Play. Now, can Enter Young keep this momentum going? Great cross court smash from Ung. Twelve. Five. Really nicely done. These look good so far, the Malaysian. You look at his record, as I said, second round of the China Open. And the World Championships, she lost to Zhao Junping. And he's not got there, Sunayama. Eight-point lead now. Third round of the Australia Open. He lost a marathon match to Li Zijia. That one was real. 
slugfest between the two Malaysians. So much at stake there. It went to three. The last game was won 21-19. The previous game was won 26-24. Second round of the Japan Open. Quarter final of the Korea Open. Where he lost to Lo Kian Yu. Opening round of the Indonesia Open. Second round of the Singapore Open. Quarter final of the Thailand Open. And then opening rounds of Malaysia Masters and the Asian Championship. So hasn't gone deep enough. This year 14, alone. Five. Nine point lead now. So it's over. Six, fourteen. No, no, no. No cap. Well, for uh, Kante Sunuyama, yes. third round of the China Open, lost to Lu Guangzhou, third round of the World Championships, lost to compatriot Kenta Nishimoto, opening round of the Australian Open, this man here, and so you'll beat him. Actually, that was an easy one to put away. Lost in the opening round of the Seven, Korea 14. Open and Canada Open. Second round of the Taipei Open. And then opening round defeats three of the three in a row. Malaysia Masters, Singapore Open, Indonesia Open. So he slipped a bit as well, Kanta That's a great shot. Not Eight, quite enough from Manta Young. The first round exits this year for Kantasuna now. First and second round exits. His best performance this year has been the final of the Spain Masters. Man on a mission at the moment, Ng Tse Yong. Service over. 15 8. Very comfortable position he's in. Service over. 9.15. He's been in uh, 54, 55 second round matches, Kante Sunni. I mean, he's won 29 of them, so. Not far away from 50%. Yeah, that's good. From, uh, Service over. 16.15. Nice. Last one his last two second round matches, Sunyama, trying to open a world championships overall. This record, I think he'll feel he could do better. Well he was seemingly throwing everything that was coming at him. So it's over. Ten sixteen. Yeah, he's uh, Kante Suriyama against uh, Malaysian opposition in the second round. He's won two and lost three. And. Uh, in all rounds, Kante Sunyama has won nine and lost eight against Malaysians overall. Lost his last two, stunningly at the Taipei Open. Lost to Yosung Zhou, who 
who was 139th in the world. A little bit of treatment here for Ung, who's got some uh, blood on his uh, knee. Very common. No, no. Just Just trying to patch it up. Now, Anto Young, 22 second round matches. He's won 12 and lost 10. And against uh, players from Japan in the second round, he's played twice and lost twice. Koki Watanabe and Kora Naroka. Both of them this year. What about his record against Japanese players overall on Tsuyong? Only ever played them four times. Won one and lost three. The only win he's ever had against a Japanese player is this man here, Kante Sunoyama. And he's in a good position here, still six points clear. They're making sure they're patching him up properly, getting rid of all the blood. Can't take any chances. Kante Sunoyama, as I said, is. 1-9, lost 8 against Malaysians. Still tending to him. Three people around him. Making sure that they ensure that it's dried out, no blood coming out. So they've just uh, tidied that up for him. So Ong Tae Yong seems to be okay. He's leading by six here. 10, 16. Play. Good to see that he's uh, fine. Let's see what happens on this opening point. <laughs> no, that's Ung Tsu Yong who's Ng appealing Ng now. Challenges. Call in. Way, way Challenge out. Unsuccessful. Oh, sorry, sorry. Correction, out. Service over. 17, 10. So he did well there. Seven points clear, Ng Tzu Yong. Can he finish off this first game? He really is in the zone, isn't he? Ung to Young. Playing some excellent stuff. God, this Yama is struggling. 
Remember, I was saying to you, the last time they played, there was a game that went 21-8, which is a bit surprising. We're not far from that, you know, at all. That is better from Sunuyama. Service over. 11, 19. Yeah, seven points still. Leon. A good distance between them. I don't think Ung will be too worried yet that uh, Sunyama strung together a couple of points. Bot. Especially now that he's uh, got Service eight over. game points 20. ahead of him. Game point, 12. So, I've actually a very good okay. first game, Ung Yong. He's won that comfortably against Kenta Suryama. 21-12. And you'll go into the second game brimming with confidence. Let's see how that one goes shortly. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. Second so, game. the second game here, Ung Tsu Yong leading against Kanta Sunuyama. He's played really well. Love all. And uh, this is what he's been talking about, the consistency. Play. Having beaten Cho Tian Chen in the first round. He wants to be able to now finish us off against the likes of Kanta Sunuyama. One, love. String together good results. Beat two high ranked players. Now, the record as it stands is two, 29 love. matches played against. Uh, players in the top 20. Remember, he's number 20 in the world. He's won eight and lost 21. It's really not a bad record. That's a really good finish. Three, 
long. Nice cross court smash from Men So Young. Fantastic start. Well, Kante Sunayama has whipped that back. One, three. It's only his third point in the last 12 from Sunayama. Okay, thank you. He needs a bit of a break here as well, Sunayama. And uh, once it was three all, it was Ung Tae Yong who just surged ahead after that. He leapt to 9-3, six-point run in that first game. Oh, that's a beautiful shot from Sunayama. Two, Real speed three. that came. That came at. Oh. Had to play that oh. late. Just looked Some across at that. Four, two. Sonoyama. Difficult to adjust when you're in those sort of situations. Yeah, he's just quick to everything, isn't he? Young to young. Five, two. He's really making it difficult for his opponent, getting to everything. Over, three, uh, keeps looking five. at his uh, left knee, which he required treatment for. And whenever he goes down, you can see there's a bit of strapping on that. Well, we'll there you go. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much you. to our production team for that. There you go. That's a good look at it. And he keeps looking down at it when he uh, dives onto the floor. It, it, it's normal. It's completely natural to be having half a mind on it. Of course, you want to be focusing on your game, but it might also be, of course, stinging him. And whenever he's forced to go to ground, of course, that's the concern. Now, last week at the China Open, he was having running battles with the officials about the court conditions and getting it dried. So this was Six, this point of the three. last game. He was a surging head. Remember, as I mentioned, he went up to nine three. Oh, just out. Seven. Three. Actually, had that been in, I think uh, Ng would not have got there, but he's. In front here by four now, the Malaysian. So as I mentioned, Ng Tso Yong, uh, eight wins out of 29. That's not bad. It's almost a 30% win rate against players ranked seven higher than him. And these are all top 20 players, four, so seven. it's a pretty good record. I will say this, he has beaten, of his last four matches, he has beaten two of the four who are high ranked. One of them is Kante Sunayama, the Australian Open, as I mentioned. The other one is John De Christie, who's Eight, number five in the four. world. He beat Loki Anu, seventh in the world. He beat Cho Tian Chen, of course, who's 11th in the world here. 
Actually, that should now read uh, nine out of 30 he has won. So pretty much 30%. He's almost there. Win rate. Service over. Five. It's been eight. Angus and Kalong here of Hong Kong, China. In the Korea Open, he's 14th in the world. He's beaten Cho Tian Chan actually twice this year, I should say. Thailand Open, he beat him when Cho was still 7th in the world. And he beat the world number one, of course, Ung Tio, famously, sorry, Albert Axelson, famously at the All England. Service over. In the second round to spoil the Nine, party. Five. So you feel this is kind of the breakout year for him. This is the year to really make that difference. And of course, get himself on the plane to Paris. Easy job, I'm sure we'll have a few things to say about that. And right now it's going great guns, isn't he? Unter Young leading by five in game two. Ten, five. Problems here for Sunayama. Who's not had a fantastic year, as I mentioned. Service over. Six, ten. You take the Malaysia Open, where you got to the semi finals, and the Spain Masters, where you got to the final out of the equation. He's only made two quarter final appearances otherwise. China Open. And the Indonesia Masters, lots of first and second round exits. Seven first round exits, three second round exits. Disappointing for Kante Sunayama. He's trailing by four here. Just use your foot. Six, ten. Yeah, dominant in the net in that one, Sunayama. Seven, ten. Just to help. 11 7 interval. And it's Otsu Young again in front here. 11 7, having won the first game. Not quite as good as he was a little earlier in the first game, but he'd still be happy with this. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. <laughs> 11 7. Play. Service over. Eight, eleven. Oh, that is amazing! What a point that is! That is the point of the match by a long, long way. Superb well, reactions there. Eight. From Unter Young, and it looked, for all intents and purposes,
that Kanta Sunayama was going to win that. He threw himself at that first here. The recovery was amazing. Okay. <laughs> Sunayama can only look on in wonderment. Look at this. Stretched here and then gets back. So athleticism and then reactions. Brilliant from Ante Young. Immediately went to look at his left knee, but he was okay. There it is, the aforementioned knee. What a great point. A superb entertainment for these fans. Yes. That smiles all around. They'll be happy with what they've seen. He leads by four here, Ung. That's more like it from the Japanese shuttler. Service over. Hasn't had all that many winners. Nine, 12. Okay, thank you. Just clips the net there, and then he finishes it off. Um. Service over. 13 9. Bit tighter this second game than it was the first. Sonyama's got a very similar record to uh, Ung Young against top 20 players. In fact, it's almost identical. Nine wins and 29. Service over. 10, 13. In the uh, against players in the top 20. Mind you, he is higher ranked than Ung Young, so he should be having a better record. 11, 13. He too has beaten Cho Tianchen this year when Cho was uh, fifth in the world. He's also, by the way, now just closed the gap to only two. Only won one of his last six Kanta Suniyama against players in the top 14, 20. 11. He's beaten uh, Kenta Mamota last year when he was world number two beat Kidabi Srikant when he was one number 14. Go, go. 15, 11. Just uh, easing the pressure off here, Ung Tso Yong. Lobs it over his opponent here, the Malaysian now. Five clear. 16, 11. Yeah, he'll be a lot happier with that. 17, Attempted passing 11. shot from uh, Sunayama. And the writing could be on the wall here now for the Japanese player. Go. Go. 
18, 11. Seven clear now onto Yonk. Can he finish this off? Some unforced errors coming in from Sunayama. 19, 11. And this looks like it's going to be two wins out of two for Unta Yong against Kante Sunayama, both in straight games. Unless something quite dramatic happens from here. And uh, that's a third unforced error now from the Japanese 20, player. And he's match point facing 11. nine match points. Gone for the flicker. That's a lovely way to win it. Ong to Young. Let's cruise this. Two very comfortable games for the Malaysian. He's beaten two players ranked higher than him. This is the kind of consistency he has been talking about. First Joe Tian Chen and now Kanta Sunayama. 21-12, And he'll be really happy with this performance today. It was clinical. Sunayama not at his best. And... Uh, Unfortunately for him, continuing what's been a, a sub-part 2023. But Yong, the Malaysian, has been brilliant. He beats Japan's Kante Sunayama, 21-12, 21-11. He's done it in 41 minutes. And it's through to the quarterfinals of the Hong Kong Open. Here we are, the HSBC BWF Hong Kong Open 2023. Into our 